Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for this seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 56 of our trek and as we consume these daily nuggets of wisdom, we need to realize that wisdom does not come from formal education and most of the time those who are wise have learned wisdom from practical everyday living. Today we're going to look at The Cowboy's Guide to Life. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Our yard sale went pretty well today. We got rid of some of the larger items, but there are still a lot of things that we desire to part with, so we'll probably do it again next Saturday. It should be easier next week since most of the items have already been sorted and made ready. We'll probably put additional stuff in the pile next week. As mentioned in the introduction, we're going to look at some practical wisdom taken from the life of a cowboy. While I've never been a cowboy myself, I still love a good western movie or TV program. We also lived in Kingman, Arizona for about 15 months a few years ago while working with our friends and business partners, Charles and Allison Meekham. So I was able to experience some of the western lifestyle, and we had the privilege of working with the Meekhams again on a project that just started in Mesa, Arizona. And while in Kingman, I took many weekends to trek into the hills and mountains surrounding the city. I really enjoyed the desert environment, which is so different from the lush green hills of the east. I must admit that by God's grace, we have been able to find contentment in each situation. So let's head out on our trail today over the Rocky Mountains and into the western deserts, where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day. As I read through A Cowboy's Guide to Life, with no additional commentary, just sit back and enjoy the humorous sage wisdom and practical advice. Some of them are pretty funny. All of them have real meaning. So pull up a log and let's sit a spell around the campfire and listen to Wild Bill as he shares his wisdom. This is a cowboy's guide to life. Life's tough. It's even tougher when you're stupid. Don't interfere with something that ain't bothering you none. Timing has a lot to do with the outcome of a rain dance. The easiest way to eat crow is while it's still warm. The colder it gets, the harder it is to swallow. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is to stop digging. If it don't seem like it's worth the effort, then it probably ain't. The biggest troublemaker you'll probably ever have to deal with watches you shave your face in the mirror every morning. Never ask a barber if you need a haircut. Keep them skunks and bankers and lawyers at a distance. Your fences need to be horse high, pig tight, and bull strong. Life is much simpler when you plow around the stump. A bumblebee is considerably faster than a trotting horse. Words that soak into your ears are whispered, not yelled. Meanness don't just happen overnight. Forgive your enemy, it really messes up their heads. Do not corner something that you know is meaner than you. It don't take a very big person to carry a grudge. You cannot unsay a cruel word. Every path has a few puddles on it. When you wall are with the pigs, you can expect to get dirty. The best sermons are lived, not preached. Most of the stuff that people worry about ain't never going to happen anyway. Don't judge folks by their relatives. Remember that silence is sometimes the best answer. Live a good, honorable life. Then when you get older and think back, you'll enjoy it a second time. Sometimes you get and sometimes you get got. If you're thinking you're a person of influence, try ordering somebody else's dog around. Don't worry about biting off more than you can chew. Your mouth is probably a whole lot bigger than you think. Generally, you ain't learning nothing when your mouth's a jawn. If you're riding ahead of the herd, take a look back every now and then to make sure that they're still with you. Good judgment comes from experience, and a lot of that comes from bad judgment. Letting the cat out of the bag is a whole lot easier than putting it back in. The quickest way to double your money is to fold it over and put it back in your pocket. Never miss a good chance to shut up. Make sure you never squat with your spurs on. Always drink upstream from the herd. Never spit into the wind. When you're in the mountains, don't you be eating that yellow snow. There's two theories to arguing with a woman. Neither one of them work. There's three kinds of men. The ones that learns by reading, a few who learns by observing, and the rest of us that have to tinkle on the electric fence for themselves. Now my grandfather once told me that there are two kinds of people. 
Those who do the work and those who take the credit. He told me, try to be in the first group. There's a lot less competition there. It don't take a genius to spot a goat in a flock of sheep. Never kick a cow chip on a hot day. Never slap a man who's chewing tobacco. When you give a lesson of meanness to a critter or a person, don't be surprised that they learned their lesson. When you're throwing your weight around, be ready to have it thrown around by somebody else. After eating an entire bowl, the mountain lion felt so good that he started roaring. A hunter came along and shot him. So the moral is, when you're full of bull, keep your mouth shut. Life's a whole lot easier when you live it one day at a time. Live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly. Do the next indicated right thing. And the last one is, work as hard as you can and leave the rest to God. As Wild Bill shared these simple yet profound statements, it brings to mind three verses from God's Word. Consider their wisdom. The first is Psalms 19, verse 7. The instruction of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The second one is Psalms 119, 130. The teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. And the third one is Proverbs 1, 4. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. I hope you have enjoyed the practical and usable tidbits today. If you'd like a PDF copy of the 50 tips on a professional layout, check our journal pages for Day 56 or the free resource page at wisdom-trek.com. Well, I'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or on wisdom-trek.com. And tomorrow, we'll take a look at why change is the only constant in life. So please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And if you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, I encourage you to help us in the following five ways. Leave your name and email address at the website at the bottom right-hand corner of any page on the sidebar or on the daily journal for this day. This will allow us to update you with special and new information about Wisdom Trek. Also, leave us feedback about the podcast at the comment forums at wisdom-trek.com. Please subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher. Leave us a rating so we can gain exposure for Wisdom Trek that will allow more people to find us and join us each day and share with your family and friends to journey with us on Wisdom Trek. I thank you for allowing me to serve you in this way, for opening your homes, and allowing us to be friends. The journal from this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where you'll have the PDF documents that I mentioned earlier, pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. And as we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and to create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.